Table 16. Hey, potato heads! I'm gonna dry my hair with the world's biggest hair dryer. Today on... Fun House! And now, here's the guy who puts the fun in Fun House, J.D. Rock! I hate to tell this guy, but this is a leaf blower and not a hair dryer. JD, you're such a melon head. Of course it's a hair dryer. Uh, Tiny, see, he doesn't understand. If I turn this on, I'm gonna blow the hair right off his head. Will you quit exaggerating? Oh, I hate it when that happens. Oh. All right. Now, wait till you see what our contestants do with these leaf blowers. But first, let's bring on today's players. Meet our twin cheerleaders, Jackie and Sammy. Who we have for the red team? Woo! They've been friends for two years. We've got Marissa Vordy and Todd Levitt. Yeah. yeah. Over the goal. We have friends for two years with Nicole Russell and Michael Shapiro. Yeah. <laughs> Marissa, how you doing? Fine. What do you want to be when you grow up? A uh, lawyer. Or okay. A judge. <laughs> All right. Good luck with that, Todd. How you doing? Fine. What do you want to be when you grow up? Olympic track runner. Really? Are you on the track team now? Yeah. Well, good luck with that. Let's hear for the red yeah. team. <laughs> Michael, how you doing, buddy? Fine. Uh, what do you like to do in your spare time? Well, I like to watch TV. Okay, good. And Nicole, how you doing? Great. What do you want to be when you grow up? A teacher. Okay, good luck. Let's hear from the gold team. <laughs> it is time to play Funhouse. It's show time. I'm taking the boys with me. Let's go, guys. Big jump. Come here, come here, come here, come here. All right, now, we're going to pretend it's October here in the Funhouse backyard. These two guys right here are about to do some yard work. Yeah, you see these autumn leaves that are all over the place? Each guy's job is to use a leaf blower to blow all the leaves out of his own yard and into his neighbor's yard. When I say go, they're going to start using those leaf blowers. At the end of 30 seconds, the player who's got the fewest leaves left in his own yard is going to win 25 points. Let's set the clock. Guys, grab a hold of those leaf blowers. All right. Start the engines. Ready, go. Watch every move these guys make. All right, we're going over to the goal team first. We're going to find out how many leaves you have. We got one here. We got two here. Now, it's the team with the fewest amount of leaves. As you can see, Sammy's gathering the other leaves. She's got a ton of leaves. The fewest leaves is the goal team. You win. Yeah. Way to go. All right. We're going to go back and reward the points. Let's go, boys. <laughs> For winning that stunt, we're going to give the goal team 25 points. Way to go. All right, girls, listen up. Leaves like the one in that stunt fall from branches of trees. Besides leaves, which of these things falls from an oak tree? Cones? Acorns? <laughs> Marissa? Acorns. Is right for 25 points. Way to go. Yeah. At the end of our first stunt, we got a tie game, 25 points apiece. All right, now listen up. It's time to take a break, but coming up, the guy's gonna get buried alive in tons of disgusting funhouse rain, snow, and sleet. Stick around, it's gonna be fun. Ooh. The government has the mob's number one informant. But we know for a fact that a contract's been put out on his life. Now, special effects genius Raleigh Tyler must complete the illusion. The best thing to do is to make them believe that he's dead. You want me to pull the trigger? You are 100% protected, I give you my word. He tried to kill me! Brian Dennehy, Brian Brown, a plan too evil to be real. The shocking suspense thriller, FX. Tonight at 8 on KADY. Homicide in Tennessee. From the Bay to the Breakers. Inspectors A1 headquarters. There's been a shooting at 335. It's known as San Francisco. That's the man keys were supposed to hit. 24-hour cops for a 24-hour city. Carl Molden, Michael Douglas, starring in the streets of San Francisco. Weeknights at 6 on KADY. KADY.
KDY remembers the 50s, May 13th and 14th with classic films. Saturday's lineup starts at noon with Sandra D and Cliff Robertson in the original Gidget. At 2, Lucille Ball stars in the Long Long Trailer. <laughs> then at 4, it's the Seven Year Itch with Marilyn Monroe. Ooh, do you feel the breeze from the subway? At 6, Kathleen Turner and Nicolas Cage star in Peggy Sue Got Married. Rock and Roll with the King at 8 with Jailhouse Rock starring Elvis Presley. I'm a 47 set to number 3. Are you the cutest jailbird I ever did see? At 10, it's the movie that started it all, Blackboard Jungle starring Sidney Portier. And at midnight, Marilyn Monroe stars in Gentlemen Prefer Blondes. That's Saturday's 50s lineup, and there's more on Sunday. We remember the 50s on May 13th and 14th. Sponsored in... Total unconditional love. The house that Jack built, three blocks long, Ventura. And now, back to Funhouse and that super cool potato head, J.D. Ross. All right, I am here with the cutest girls in the world. Now, these humongous mailboxes tell us it's time to play the... Tomorrow. A promotional fee has been provided by... Menopause, a natural change of life. All natural Rejuvex supplies important nutrients during and after menopause. Try Rejuvex. Turn up the colors in your wash with new Ultra Vivid Powder Bleach with Color Care. Stay tuned, Rolanda Watts is next with stories worth talking about. Miss a minute and you'll miss a lot, right here on Channel 9. Chained doors won't keep you safe. Delivery. Introducing SecureMate. It's new. It's strong. It protects your home and your family with a band of steel. It's easy to install and use for adults, the handicapped, even children. Works on any door. Wood, steel, right hand, left hand, especially double doors. With SecureMate for only $49.95, you can feel safe. The solid steel construction keeps criminals out. You can pop a chain, force a deadbolt, or spring a... Todd, turn around. You got, you got dumped on, man. Look at his head. He's all wet. All right, we're going to add him up. Team with the most letters is going to win the stunt. We got one letter. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Audience, come on. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Miracle. All right, that's thirteen letters. You need more than thirteen letters to win the stunt, okay? We're going to find out right now. Turn around, Nicole. All right, audience, let's start with one. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. We got our winning letters right here. We're going back to award the points. Let's go, let's go. Come on back, come on back. All right, now, listen up. For winning that stunt, who are we giving the points to? That's right, the gold team gets 25 points. I want you guys. Check this high yeah. five they do all together. This is really cool. Hurry up, do it fast. You ready? Watch this, in between each other. Check this out. Boo! I love it. All right, now we're going to our question. Listen up, girls. Girls? Yep. Real mail carriers deliver letters. What would you deliver if you were an obstetrician? Appliances, babies, or telegrams? <phone rings> Marissa. Um, telegrams? <phone rings> No, not telegrams. If you were an obstetrician, would you deliver appliances or babies? Go ahead, Nicole. Babies? What was that? Babies? That's right, for 25 points, we're going to go. The red team's got 25. We're going to our next stunt. I'm taking the girls. Come on, girls. Come here, girls. All right, now listen up. 
You know, two of the most famous sodas in the world are Coke and Pepsi, and they're always competing against each other. Right now, we're gonna have our own cola war in the Funhouse Battle of the Buckets. Red team, these buckets over your head are filled with Burpsy Cola. Check that out, the old Burpsy Cola trick. Now, the gold team, yours has Kooky Cola. I love that. All right, now, girls, listen up. You see that bullseye right there? They're connected to the buckets up there. Each of them has a bunch of these things right here, bean bags. When I say go, they're going to start throwing bean bags at their opponent's target real hard. Every time they score a bullseye, they're going to dump a bucket all over. First to dump both buckets of cola on the opponent's going to win the cola war and the points. Ready for the Battle of the Buckets, girls? Yes. yes. Get in the position. Come on, let's do this thing. On your mark. Get set. Go. How do you feel? Terrible. You look terrible. I'm coming over here. Come 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 here. Do you have fun? Yes. You got dumped on. She got dumped on. You win the stun. How does that feel? Good. All right. Let's go back and award the points then. Come on. Yeah. All right. We're winning that stun. We're going to red team 25 points. All right. Listen up for this question, guys. In that stunt, we use buckets of cola. But if we use a standard can of cola instead, would it hold six ounces? Michael. Eight ounces. No, listen up, Todd. Standard cup of cola, a standard can of cola. Six ounces, 12 ounces, or 22 ounces? Go ahead, Todd. Six ounces? No, the right answer is 12 ounces, a 12 ounce can of Coke. I can't give any points, that's okay. End of the stunt round. We've got the gold team with 75, the red team's got 50. Coming up, it's time for the Funhouse Grand Prix race. That's the event that's gonna lead one of our teams to the awesome Funhouse. We're going to the starting line. Uh, have your friends pull up a chair and join us. We'll see you there, let's go. Yeah. Just a cheetah here. 